Hiya! So today I'm going to show you how I plan of an evening, um, like filling in my trackers and recapping on the day and sort of looking back, and then how I would plan for the next morning. And I tend to do this in the evening, usually in bed actually, <laughs> it's become a sort of routine, um, and I'll do it every night so that I'm prepared for the next day. So I like to start by checking my main monthly calendar view, see if I've got anything coming up. So I know that this week I've got my mum's birthday, it's also my mother-in-law's birthday because our mums have the same birthday. Uh, Tristan's got a spec savers appointment and I need to restart my contraceptive pill on a Friday. So if I get my pen, I might have already written some of these in so leave it there. So Tuesday, it's Mum and Lynn's birthday, and I'm going to put this line down here to section it off because I'm going to use this column to batch task, and then I'm going to use a bullet point because it's not a task; it's just something I need to know about. So I'm going to put in um, Mum and Mum's birthdays. <laughs> Uh, and then on the Wednesday, Tristan's got his spec savers appointment at 4.15. And then on the weekend, uh, me and Lee are hopefully going to go and watch the rugby, the women's play rugby. So now that I know I've got the really important things in here, I'm going to come back to this page. Um, I'd like to double check if there's anything that I could put in here. I'm actually watching Lee play a lot of PlayStation at the minute. Um, I don't like to play, but I like to watch. It might seem an odd thing to put in, but sometimes we'll play games and stuff, and then I think, oh, when was the last time we actually played that game? So that counts as something we're watching, and I can look back on that. Um, there is a book I'm reading at the minute, but I can't remember what it's about. So... Here I've got sort of bill trackers and things and I've got a video coming up very very soon about how I have made myself a system so that I'll be able to actually work out where bills are coming in and going out so that I can stay on track because I'm a bit of a, I'm a, bit, a little bit frightened of money I suppose. I'm not sure how to save and all that sort of stuff so I need to be a grown up <laughs> and get on track with, with money and stuff so this spreads... Um, it's really helping already, so hopefully it might help somebody else as well. So that's coming up soon. So the next page, um, my project time management. I haven't got anything I want to put in here right now because I'm going to sit with a different session and work that out. Uh, my citrus review for a book, that's coming up very soon too. It might already be up depending on which video I put up first. So I'm almost done with that. I just need to... Um, upload the thumb, I need to work out the thumbnail and then just upload it because I've edited it and whatnot. Okay, so then we are on to my productivity level tracker. So in here I'm going to put all the things that I did yesterday, bearing in mind I would have done this last night, but I'm going to put all the things I did in yesterday. So yesterday it was a fairly low energy level day and I was in quite a lot of pain but I managed to get quite a lot of done, quite a lot of done, quite a lot done. I was pleased with what I achieved so I finally got round to folding some laundry. Um, I went for a walk with Lee and Ridley in the woods which would have been great. I was like oh, I don't really want to do this but I know I need to get some fresh air and exercise that's good for my health and blah 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 and I was quite enjoying it apart from the fact that it was very muddy and wet which would have been fine had I not had a big leak in my welly <laughs> in my welly boot so I ended up like a squelchy sock it was it was lovely I've also started putting in um, like a little leaf for if I go out in nature and get fresh air and stuff because that might be something that affects my mood so if I see that I've got lots of high points, lots of good moods, then I can sort of look back and go, were they days that I had exercise? Was it days that I spent a lot of time with the children? Was it days that I got the fresh air and stuff? So I can sort of work out what might help. So I've got a little heart in there for Ridley because I spent some quality time with him yesterday. I edited the citrus video. I did a little bit of art, this is my little 
bean that's supposed to look a bit like a palette. It doesn't. <laughs> um, I clean the bathroom. And I actually did my hair and makeup, which I haven't been doing very often because I get bad skin, so I try and give it a breather. But I, my mum did my hair the other day. Thanks, mum. And um, it sort of, I was like, well, I've got nice hair. I might as well put some makeup on. So I did, and I felt good about it. So, so now we are on to my everything tracker. So I'm going to put in here that I had a walk. Um, I've got some fresh air. But I didn't eat a lot. I barely ate anything. I was really, really bad. I sort of missed breakfast and lunch. I just sort of snacked, so. I missed breakfast and lunch. My mood, it was okay, I think. It was sort of, sort of middle of the road. And my energy levels were, they were pretty low. So I'm gonna, gonna put one there. My sleep, it's not been great because Ridley has been waking up a lot in the night. I don't know if he's just going through a phase or what, but he's just not sleeping well at the minute. Um, my pain was not too bad. It was, it was quite high. It was, it was bothering me, let's put it that way. <laughs> Productivity, I'm going to put in midway because I did get the editing done, so I did all right there. And then, oh no, that's whether or not I felt poorly. I didn't feel particularly poorly. I've had a bit of the sort of sniffles and a sore throat, so it's not right at the bottom because I know I'm not 100%. And then my productivity will go. I think I should give myself some credit and go a bit higher actually because... Because even though I felt really crappy, I did get a fair bit done and I pushed myself to do stuff. So I'm going to reward myself with, <laughs> with a higher dot because I did go for the walk. I did spend with, time with Ridley. I got some housework done and I did the editing. So I can say that I was productive. <laughs> then I fill out my tracker, which kind of speaks for itself. I'm going to put a half square for um, spending quality time with Tristan because I didn't see him a lot yesterday because he didn't want to come with us so he went out and played with his friends. Um, but I did spend a bit of time with him so we had a little chat and that sort of thing. Feeling. Um, so yesterday, I've been having, to be fair, I've been having a bit of a rough time the last couple of weeks. I've been feeling quite low and just not myself. So I've had a change of medication and stuff. So hopefully that will help. And I did feel a bit better yesterday. Um, so I was sort of just taking the day as it came. And so I felt more relaxed and sort of quite content. And then my meal log. Now, I've added something to my meal log, which I'll probably explain a bit more in my next um, planning video, but I've added some squares to help me track whether or not I ate well or okay or not very well at all. So Now, I have been fairly good with my eating and stuff when it comes to sugar for the last week and a half but yesterday I had a bit of a slip down I thought sod it I'm just gonna eat everything so I just ate loads of sweets and crap and chocolate and crisps and that's what happens when you miss meals <laughs> so yeah I didn't do quite so well I've put cake in twice because I had little mini cakes and then at dinner I had like a big load of chocolate cake it was so good it was worth it <laughs> I don't care it was worth it so I'm going to put a four in there because I was supposed to switch, switch it. I'll do that next month. Um, five means I've had a high, high intake of sugar and zero means I've had no intake of sugar. So I did it that way. Next is my line of day. So I went for a walk in the woods. Gratitude. I was really grateful that I actually got some time with Lee doing something a bit different and just 
it was nice to spend time together without stressing about anything or chasing after the kids. So it was nice, it was really nice just to have a relaxing day with me. And also the fact that I had the, <laughs> the energy I did have, I used it properly. So um, I'm pleased I actually had a bit of energy to do some editing. Editing. <laughs> editing. Editing? Ed. Look! Oh, I can rub it out. La 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 la. Ta da! Editing. Oh no, it's because I was going to write energy. Here we go. Energy. N O G. For editing. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but can you hear that rain? It looks amazing out the window. <laughs> uh, right, so, um, successes. The walk was a success. Editing was a success. I actually had time to relax. And I didn't have a nap, even though I really, really wanted one, because I'm trying to get my sleep patterns back in order. So that was a good thing. I managed to resist. <laughs> resist the bed. Oh, I love bed. And on improvements, we're going to go for less sugar. Now, it might seem like I'm repeating myself a lot, because like I've got a walk in there a lot. I've got editing in there a lot. But I put them in the different sections because if I want to look through a whole thing for the month and look at all my successes, I can do that. If I want to look at just look at, um, you know, my productivity tracker and how I've been getting on, I can just do that without missing any information out. So I do repeat myself, but it, there is a reason for it. So now we are on to actually planning. I have had a load of dreams, but I can't remember them, which is really, really weird for me. I mean, if you look back at... If you look back at last month's, I dreamt a lot. I, I do tend to remember all my dreams when I wake up, so... And they're not very nice most of the time. Uh, you might wonder why I log that if they're not very nice. It's because if I put it down on paper, it seems to get all the nightmares out of my head, and they don't repeat on me. Um, for the rest of the day. Plus, it's quite interesting to just look back on it and see what the hell I've been dreaming about. <laughs> so, I can't put anything in my dream log today. So, on to actually planning. So, I'm going to start by just listing the things that I need to do today. So, I need to do the citrus thumbnail. I need to... Text Bob because she's having Tristan for a sleepover on Wednesday. So she's going to, she, she'll be picking him up from school. So I need to see if she doesn't mind taking him to his eye appointment. Um, so I've got to text Bob and let her know that he needs to do that and then make arrangements if we need to. Um, I need to check up on my bank account. I need to get cards and presents for Mum and Lynn. I need to text one of my friends about some school stuff. And I need to... <laughs> I need to film, edit and upload this video today. I'm hoping to get it up today because it's, it is Monday today, so... Um... I'm going to put in that I need to film, even though I'm doing it now, because then I can check it off. <laughs> film, edit and upload. And then I feel like there was something else I needed to do. Ah, the kitchen needs doing. And Tristan needs his laundry doing, because... It's piling up. <laughs> okay, so now I've got all my tasks 
this is quite a full day for me actually, but now I've got all my tasks, I'm going to start batch tasking. So what I'm going to do is I've got a few different symbols. They don't mean anything, they haven't got an order. I just use these symbols, symbols, symbols to lump in similar tasks that I could do at the same time. So, for example, the citrus thumbnail um, and the editing and uploading, those could be done at the same time because they're both things that I'm going to be doing at my laptop. Plus, I could probably do my bank account checkup on there as well. Sometimes I do it on my phone, but it'd probably be better to do it on the laptop so I can see it all more clearly. So, I'm going to give a little dot for those. So next is I've got to text Bob. So while I'm doing that on my phone, I can text Bob, Bob, <laughs> Bob, and I can also Bob is my mum. We call her Bob because um, Tristan just sort of my dad called her Bob, and Tristan picked it up when he was little, so he doesn't call her now, and he calls her Bob. <laughs> so it's just sort of stuck. So Bob is my mum. Um, so yeah, Bob and Natalie they can be done at the same time. So I'm going to put a little square. Um, the kitchen and laundry stuff can be done at the same time because that's all household stuff. So I think I'll put a star. And then the cards and presents uh, are just something that I can do separately. So I'm going to put a little triangle for that one. Okay, so now that I've got the batch task things, I wish I'd zoomed in a little bit so you could see this better. I might do that in editing, but I'll zoom in for now. Now that I've got these sort of batch tasks, I'm going to work out what's the most important thing that needs to be done. So for me, the most important thing to do is make sure I get the cards um, for Mum and Lynn. So that's going to go first. Next is going to be the editing and uploading and all that sort of stuff. So that will be the circle. Um, texting mum and Natalie is also important, but it doesn't necessarily have to be done today. It should be, but it doesn't have to be. So that's going to go further to the back. And then the kitchen and laundry. I'm going to do at the end because I know that's something I'm going to do towards the end of the day anyway so that's going to be the last thing on my list. So that's how I'm batch tasking. Hopefully you can sort of understand what I'm doing. The benefits of this is I used to have these tasks and then I would just sort of flip about all over the place and I'd do it more like however I'd listed it but my brain doesn't always chuck these things out in the right order but I'd do them in the order I put them down so I could check it off and check it off and check it off. But that meant I was sort of bouncing all over the place and sometimes I didn't get to things when I should have done something else first. It also meant that maybe I'd go to my laptop and then I'd go off somewhere else and do something else and then have to go back to my laptop and upload it all and settle and find a quiet place. Whereas I could do all that in one go if I know what I'm doing. So yeah, I found this super, super helpful. It's made it much easier to get things done in a logical order and in a logical way. So, and um, with having more sort of a creative, explosive brain that just sort of throws things at me whenever it feels like it and it's all a jumble and I have to make sense of it, Putting it down on paper like this makes it much easier for me to understand and see. I've just realised I also need to text Jane. Now I don't have any space but it's going to go with texting Bob so I'm going to put it on this line here. Jane is my auntie and she's lovely. She's, she's a lovely lady. All my aunties are lovely actually. I've got a lovely family. I'm very lucky. Um, I just wanted to add in that in theory, I could sort of add more to my week. I could plan further ahead, um, which I know a lot of people do so that they know exactly what's coming up for the whole week. It's different with me because I don't know what my energy levels are going to be like and my pain levels from day to day. I can feel great one day and then have a really, really awful day the next day. So I have to take it in, you know, the night before, um, try and work out how I'm feeling. Sometimes, if I'm feeling really, really rotten, 
I will wait till the morning to do this so that I can assess whether or not um, I have enough energy to do all these things. If I know there's things that need doing, but I don't have the energy to do them, I'll shift them over to the work or home. So they're still sort of in, in I was going to say in situ, that's not right. But they're still on that weekly, so I know that's what I want to do this week, even though I haven't actually placed them in anywhere. That's why I have these, because there'll be tasks that I need to get done, um, but I don't know when I'm going to have the energy to do them. So I can pull them from here. Also, on once I've actually filled in my um, project time management, I will be able to take um, the tasks that I work out that I have to do to get things done on time. I'll be able to pull those over to these weeks um, so that I can work out what needs to be done on which week. Um, so yeah, there's that as well. <laughs> so yeah, oh look, film evening planning routine. I've done it, yay! Um, I will fill in some more of these bits um, later on or as I go along and through the week and that sort of thing. But today, I know exactly what I've got to do. Um, I think it's achievable. I'm feeling pretty good today. I have some energy. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah! Um, <laughs> and that's about it. I shall leave it on that note. Hopefully you found some ideas or insight. Bear in mind, I do this at the end of the day, every single evening. Maybe I'll miss one if I don't have my planner. Sometimes if I'm really, really, really knackered and my planner's downstairs and I'm already upstairs, I think, oh, I'll just do it in the morning. But for the most part, I do it every single day. And the way, it seems like quite a lot to, to do of an evening, but without chatting through all this, it takes me maybe 10 minutes. And I view that 10 minutes as time for myself to order my life and reflect and that sort of thing so it's not so much of a chore now before it used to feel like something i just had to do and but i'm enjoying it more now because i know how helpful it is also i didn't start with all of these things i think i just started with um a line a day and my gratitude and once i got into the habit of doing these um, I then added the next slot and then once I got into the habit of doing those I added like another lot and it just sort of it built up so it wasn't like oh my god I've got so much to fill in I added more to my plate once I'd already got into the habit of it um, so that might be helpful for someone that's struggling to stay on top of things maybe you've just got too much on your plate this certainly for me all of this would have been way too much for me to do before I you know got that habit and made it strong because it would have felt too overwhelming but because I was already in a routine it didn't feel like too much to add a little bit each time so that's how I managed to sort of get it all done every day oh restart pill I didn't put that in oh no I've already done it ha ah, thank you past me okay so that is it I have finished now <laughs> um I hope you enjoyed this video like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I've got my citrus book review. It's a beautiful book, by the way. You oh, I love it. And then I've also got my uh, bill spread. So watch out for those videos because they are coming. Um, if you have any suggestions for a theme for April, please leave me them in the comments because I have no idea what to do. I'm trying to think of something simple. So if anything that you'd like to be able to draw um, to decorate your planners with, let me know in the comments because I can try and find a way to make it easier to draw it and then I'll show you how to do it. Um, and yeah, and we'll see how it goes. This flinging cat, look, it doesn't go to the bottom. So I have to keep putting it out the side. <laughs> anyway, off track. I hope you all have a lovely day and um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>